Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about spring rubbers. So spring rubbers are these guys right here. Um, they're basically like a rubber or other type of uh, uh, elastic material that you can insert in between the coils of your spring. And the way these guys work is, um, right, since it's an elastic material, it has a spring rate of its own. And when you put it in inside of these springs, um, it becomes a parallel spring. It increases the spring rate. So you can use these to tune the spring rate of your springs if you've got some that's too soft or maybe you just want to see how many you know, uh, of these you want in order to figure out what final spring rate you want. So for example, these guys, uh, these are from Longacre and these red ones are roughly say 30 to 40 pounds per inch uh, spring rate. And uh, so I know that if I know what the starting spring rate is, um, then I know I'm adding an additional, say, 30 to 40 uh, pounds per inch to that spring rate for each one of these I add. So um, these normally come just uh, fully solid, so sometimes you have to do like I did and just slice them down the middle to open them up. And then uh, additionally, I took a drill bit and I just drilled some holes so that I could secure them with zip ties. And if you notice where I've secured them on zip ties, I've zipped it around the coil that I know can't fully compress because if you put it uh, around a coil that can compress and the coil binds, it'll just cut these zip ties very quickly. So this red spring right here right now is my uh, current rear spring. It's got a spring rate of about 650 pounds per inch. And the uh, black spring um, has a spring rate of about 580 pounds per inch. And I came to using the red spring by using the spring rubbers with the black spring. So since each one adds uh, 30 to 40 pounds per inch, um, I liked how the ride was when I added two of them, so I knew I had to add an additional, say, 60 to 80 pounds per inch, and that's how I came to about that 650 pounds per inch number. So to install the uh, spring rubbers, uh, you, you can see how the channel right here, uh, you know, the coils just fit in there. So what we'll do is we'll just take it and we'll just snap it into place around the coil. So since this is an unloaded spring, this is pretty easy. I'm just rotating it around and I'm just popping it in. Um, if you are installing these on a car, the coils may be somewhat compressed, so it gets a little bit more difficult. And what I found works is uh, if you have some you know, WD-40 liquid wrench or some other type of uh, lubricant, spraying that along the channels before you try and pop it in there will help immensely.